what is bandwidth? Electronic signals can form a pattern or repeat over a cycle. The time required for a full cycle to repeat is called the period, T. The period can be any measure of time, such as a second, an hour, or a day. The rate at which this repetition occurs is called frequency, F. Frequency is the inverse of the period. The number of cycles per second gives frequency in the units of hertz. For example, if a signal cycles twice in one second, then the frequency is 2 hertz. The range of frequencies a system can pass is given by the system bandwidth. A system defined by the following graph passes DC and low frequencies and rejects higher frequencies. The bandwidth is often defined by the frequency where the system response curve is half attenuated. This is called the 3 dB bandwidth, or the cutoff frequency. The frequency response of a system is usually specified with a single frequency sine wave as input. At wavelength, we specify the 3 dB bandwidth of a laser diode driver as the sinusoidal frequency that is half attenuated through the controller. The bandwidth of a driver is specified in the data sheet, but if you want to measure the bandwidth of a driver, put in a 1 volt peak to peak sinusoidal set point. Then, increase the frequency of the sine wave until the peak to peak value is 0.5 volts. That's the 3 dB bandwidth. Rise time is how quickly an electronic signal changes from 10% of maximum to 90% of maximum. Fall time is just the opposite, the speed with which the signal changes from high level to low. A square wave is formed by summing several sinusoidal frequencies of varying strength. If we sum a sine wave and its odd harmonics, a rough square wave is formed. The more harmonics that are used, the more distinct the square wave becomes. To represent the time-based signal shape in the frequency domain, a Fourier transform is used. Any time-based signal can be represented as a sum of various frequencies at various strengths and offsets. A square wave in the frequency domain looks like a sum of odd frequencies. Here we show a well-defined square wave well within the system's bandwidth at approximately 10 kHz. As we increase the input frequency, the upper harmonics will be lost, resulting in the output current losing the square edges. This is illustrated by the green curve at approximately 600 kHz. The resulting output also depends on the system rise and fall times. These parameters put a limit on the output current's step response. Circuits are often given a bandwidth specification. This indicates that the circuit will not pass all frequencies in a time varying set point signal. Sine waves through this system will be attenuated. Square waves and others represented by summations of frequencies will change shape as the base frequency increases. Rise and fall times can also limit how fast a driver can deliver changing current to the load. Evaluation of output current frequency response can be critical to the practical success of a project. Our website has more basic series papers and videos for reference. Consider us an extension of your team.